I think some of the most important values you can transfer to children are, are uh, dedication, uh, hard work, love, and generosity. It changed a little bit every single time. I've had, I've had four kids, so I've been been a dad four different times, uh, and. Uh, you know, the biggest change that ends up happening for me uh, as a dad is you start to forget about your own wants and needs and uh, your own lifestyle and you, <clears throat> your life starts to change and adapt to the wants and needs and, and activities of your kids. It's very important that the kids have, have active parents, uh, both, uh, both moms and dads in their life. I think that's the best way to raise children for sure. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it's a, it's a very, very formative uh, part of their life and, uh, and kids want to be loved. They need to know that they're, they're needed, that they're, they're wanted, and, and that they have people that care about them. When I hang out with my children, my for, preferred activity really is anything uh, that involves having the TV turned off. Uh, when the TV's turned off and, and there's no background noise, you can only focus on them. You can sit with them, you ask them questions, you can see their personalities. I love to see how they respond to different questions. I'll just ask them random questions just to see what their response is. You usually get something pretty good. I don't know why, but they uh, we play this game, or I don't even know how it became a game, but uh, I turn into a raptor and, uh, and chase them around the house. And they think that's just the greatest game in the world. They always, all right, Dad, Dad, can we play raptor? Can we play raptor? And uh, like I said, I don't know how it turned into a game, but uh, it's basically me chasing them around the house, uh, trying to eat them. A lot of times, uh, especially my older daughter, she's, she's almost 12 years old and, and she's kind of uh, turned into a little young lady and, and her dad isn't always the, the, uh, the person she wants to be around the most. So as I drive her to basketball practice and things like that, she'll kind of not want to talk to me and I'll, I'll, I turn into kind of a, a, a child. I, I sing really loud to the radio to embarrass her and uh, I'll put my hands really close to her and say, hey, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. She don't touch me. I go, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. And it usually gets a smile out of her and gets her, gets her uh, to interact with me.